To a crime alert tonight at five to tell you about investigators need your help figuring out what or who sparked this massive fire at an historic campground. The flames destroyed 40 structures Sunday night at Balls Creek Campground in Catawba County. Thankfully, no one was injured, but how this fire started remains a mystery. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner joins us live from the campground. Brandon, one question investigators are trying to answer was retaliation among high school students the motive for this? Well, Fred, there's been a lot of angles that investigators have been looking at into what started this fire. We actually just got some new information from the sheriff's office about that allegation. We're going to show you the story and tell you what those allegations are, and then I'll follow up with what the sheriff's office has said. Cleanup continues at the historic Balls Creek campground as families who own structures here for generations walk through the charred debris left behind by Sunday night's fire. Crazy things happen. So you just don't know. I'm just so glad they're doing all the investigations. That investigation points to this fire being suspicious, but detectives don't yet know what caused it. According to this search warrant, one rumor they're looking into is whether an incident at a high school football game last week between bandies and maiden high schools led to someone setting fire to the campground in retaliation. Catawba County Schools say the district is not aware of any incidents at that game. County Emergency Services Director Karen Yousey emphasizes that information is just one of many angles they're looking into. It has neither been corroborated nor um, put to bed. So, you know, it's still out there. And there may be other clues still out there. As the SBI tests all the evidence collected here, Yowsey says they're asking anyone in the area around the campground with wildlife, deer, or security cameras to call the sheriff's office. In an investigation like this, sometimes the tiniest little piece of information can get the biggest gain from it. And so they're looking at a lot of different angles, a lot of different possibilities. An investigation that won't last as long as this campground's been around but may still take time. And we just got this information from the sheriff's office. They said that they interviewed several students from both Bandy's and Maiden High Schools. They've been questioned and deemed to have no involvement. And again, they emphasize to date that none of these leads or allegations have been substantiated, but they did say that all leads are being investigated and that for people not to draw any conclusions based on the directions of their investigations. Reporting live in Catawba County, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte.